Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. This video is a part of playlist called Elementor Basics in which we talk about every widget, every feature and every option in Elementor. So if you are new to Elementor, make sure you check the playlist called Elementor Basics on the channel. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. In this video, I want to talk about HTML widget in Elementor. It's one of the most powerful and underrated widgets in Elementor. It's so powerful that you can build anything that you can imagine if you know how to code. Let me show you with few simple examples. Let me drag my HTML widget onto my template and it's a plain blank widget. So what exactly does HTML widget allow you to do? It'll allow you to add HTML, CSS, JavaScript and even short codes to the widget. It can interpret all of them with proper tags. So let's go ahead and see that. So let me add some basic HTML. I'll just add a heading. As, as you can see when I typed h2, it just created the closing tag for me. So I'll just say and there you see. So whatever HTML you have, you can simply paste it without even mentioning the HTML tag. If you want, you can mention HTML tag. That's all up to you. And then within that you can write your code but this is not necessary since it can interpret HTML elements directly. And this is a pretty basic h2 tag. I want to align it onto the center and I want to style it a bit so I can actually do it with inline styling. So this is also CSS but added inline. So this has the highest priority. Even if you add something to your customizer, this code will have highest priority. So let's actually change the text alignment so that I'll align this text onto the center. And just like that, you can see my heading is aligned onto the center. Let's change the color of my heading and I just added red and you can see what it did. Let's change the font size. So I'll add a font size of maybe 2 EM and just like that, it changed the font size. If you want it in pixels, you can also add that. You can change the value to 26 or 36 or whatever. So you can see what I'm doing here. I just added my HTML and I also styled it using inline CSS. But there are other ways to style HTML elements. Here's a fun fact. If you have Gutenberg installed on your website, just open the block editor. Since all of the blocks are basically HTML blocks, you don't even have to write HTML in your Elementor interface. You can simply get the HTML from the Gutenberg interface. I'll show you how in this. So from the Gutenberg block editor, I'll pick maybe a pull quote. So I'll say So I'll just give it a citation and I can simply click on this button and there's an option to view it as an HTML. Simply copy and come back to your HTML widget. I'll delete all this. I'll paste the same code. Well, you can see it's basically the same thing. So just like that, I ported my block code widget using HTML widget. Let's actually add another widget. I'll delete this. Let's actually add a list so I'll say so I just added three list items I'll also get HTML of this so it's you don't even have to learn HTML so I'll just copy this I'll clear the HTML and just like that when I pasted it you can see the list is automatically created now I know how to create a list so it's this li tag and the ending tag so you can simply paste that and you can change this to anything just like that, you can add as many HTML elements as you want and the styles are basically inherited from your theme. So basically your theme will decide whatever styles that you want, but you can change it with CSS. And in order to add CSS to HTML element, it's this tag. So opening and closing style tags, it means whatever we type in between this is basically CSS. So let's actually go ahead and style our list item and there's one more thing to remember here when you add style which is effectively css it's 
affected at the page level. So all the elements or the classes targeted in this widget will be the page level elements. So whichever has the same class name or the same element name will be targeted by the style that we define in here. So let's style our list and make it look a bit better. And list item, it's an unordered list. So it's UL, as you can see here, I just want to style it. So I'll actually change the list style type and I'll just say square. And you can see the bullets are now changed to square type. You can also change them to circle and you can see that. Let's change the font color of the list to blue. You can see that. Now let's target the list items. And the way to do it is to specify the main container and then specify the child element. And let's add a little padding of maybe 10 pixels. And you can see the list is more stretched out and better looking from here. And most Gutenberg blocks are properly interpreted by the Elementor HTML widget. You might get the server 403 error. It's because of your WordFence security plugin. You might temporarily deactivate it, publish the code or update the code and then you can reactivate it back. So it's not a problem. Let's take another block. I'll actually pick gallery block from this time. I'll add images right within my Gutenberg interface. So I'll pick this, this and this three images. I'll create a new gallery. I'll just insert gallery and I'll get the HTML of this. I'll just copy whatever is there. I don't have to understand what it is. I'll click on my HTML widget. It's over here. I'll remove everything that I've added till now, paste it. And just like that, it added the gallery element to my Elementor interface. I didn't even pick anything from here. What it did was create a gallery in Gutenberg. I got the HTML of it. It also has CSS. As you can see here, it has few classes that are targeted at theme level. So they'll be applied across the website. So the styles and all the stuff will also be available on Elementor templates. So it's that easy. You don't even have to learn HTML. You can just get the HTML from Gutenberg blocks. It works with most first party or the built in blocks. Let's add a table this time. I'll say, let's click on this. I'll say apples, mangoes. Also, let's get the HTML from here. I'll copy the whole HTML code. I'll remove this. I'll paste that. And just like that, I created a table. So you can avoid many Elementor add-ons because you're actually getting HTML or the add-ons indirectly from Gutenberg. And if you know how to style them with CSS, well, you pretty much have the power of Gutenberg in your own hands. As I told you, HTML widget also allows you to add script, which is basically JavaScript. So if you have something like Google AdSense or Google Analytics tracking codes, you can add a script tag and then paste the code in between. This will interpret the code and properly send the data. This is actually done at page level, just like the style. So if you want to apply a particular tracking code to a particular page, you can make use of HTML widget in Elementor, add script tag and put your code in between. I'll add a simple code. It's an alert. And you can see as I added the code, it shows me this alert. You can click on OK. Let's change this. And for each and everything, it gives me an alert. So that's, you can see that you need to take action before you can proceed. So I cannot click on anything else. I need to click on OK first. Only then it lets me add anything. So you basically get it. So you can add HTML, which is this one, CSS, which is this style tag. You can also add JavaScript and you can also add short codes. As I told you, you can also use short codes in the HTML widget. So let's actually take a couple of short codes from Elementor templates. So these short codes will display that particular template. Of course, I have the pro version of Elementor. So I'll instead of bananas, I'll paste that short code. I'll take another short code, which is this one. 
and instead of oranges i'll replace oranges with short code remember short codes can be pasted wherever th there can be text so you can replace text with short code and they just work fine i'll click on update and you might have to disable your wordfin security temporarily so that this is not blocked you don't see anything here let's click on preview and it opens up the actual page so here we are so apples mangoes and i just pasted the short code and it displays the template and the other uh, template it's that easy so elementor html widget can handle html css javascript which can be your google adsense code or any page tracking code specific to a page and also short codes so you can put short codes in conjunction with all html css and javascript this is amazing and not just that there are many practical applications to this html widget in fact i have showed you a lot of practical applications we've actually built our dual color heading using the html widget we've also built our own tool tips using the html widget using both html and css i'll leave a link to that playlist in the description so you can check out how we used just the html widget of elementor and built any element that we want also you can see that custom css is available for elementor pro but with elementor html widget you can make custom css work on the free version of elementor and this is really powerful let me show you with an example let me show you how you can use custom css on free version of elementor using html i've already made a video on it but i'll quickly show this now and also leave a link to that video in the description so let's say i want to style this class using or this particular text editor widget using css i just give it a class name so i'll just call it para demo i'll drag an html widget or if there's already an existing one you can simply use that just put the style tag and all css can be present within the style tag since our class name is para demo i'll copy this since free version won't have the custom css access just click on the html widget add a dot before the class name paste the class name braces let's first change the font color well nothing happens because probably something else is overriding that if we add important then if this will be given that most preference and the font color is changed now let's add a property called text shadow we'll actually add three text shadows to this particular text by using the standard elementor style you can only add a single text shadow but using the css you can add multiple text shadows let's do that first i'll add a blue one you can see the blue text shadow and then i'll add maybe a green one and you can see that so just by targeting this class we've styled it the way we want with css it's that easy and this works on the free version as well i'll leave a link to the video that explained how to make html or the css code work on the free version of elementor so i usually teach you how to do css with the pro version so whatever code you have you can simply make it work on the free version as well similar to what i've shown you you just need an html widget elementor html widget just target the class and just add your css it's that simple and the possibilities are endless for html widget and you can do a lot of things that you can't do with the free version using the html widget so we'll be taking a closer look at the html widget and there's a playlist called build your own elements that actually makes use of this html elementor widget and we build any element or any widget that we want by using simple html and css it's that simple hope you guys like this and check out elementor basics playlist for more information on how to use elementor i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace